please welcome to our show Nick Cannon. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it, Nick. Wow. So I don't know where to start. First of all, um, congratulations on your nomination for best reality host on America's Got Talent. Thank you. Is that a big thing? I should be Cute. proud. Of course. You should be very I'm proud excited. of that. Yeah. And you know what? When you watch that show, you really are truly the glue that keeps it together. You're fabulous on America's Got Talent. I have so much fun on that show. And that's why like all the accolades and stuff, I, I appreciate that. But that's not why I do that show. You know what I mean? Like Ultimately, I do it because it's like really seeing people accomplish something that, or, or at least strive for their dreams and their goals. And it's fun, you know what I mean? And, and where people are like, oh man, you're so good. It's like, I'm just having a good time. And unlike other shows with judges, I mean, those are sort of predictable. I, I'm not saying that they're not bad, they're not, not good, but America's Got Talent, you have all these people with different I mean, you know, they light each other on fire. They, you know, yeah. they, they, they blow up their penises and they watch oh, them explode yes. and yes. stuff. That was one of my favorites. I know. But I love, my favorite thing is when they get your reaction off to the side of the stage. <laughs> like if someone's on stage doing something crazy, they go to the Nick Cannon shot and you have this look in your face like, oh my God. It's, it, it's real. Like I'm sitting there the way you guys sit at home and watch the show. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So that's just the reaction that I have and it's turned into like a phenomenon that they have to cut to me uh, to see how I feel about it. Looking down your body of work. Yes. And I... I know that, you know, when you're a working actor, working comedian, working entertainer, sometimes, you know what, if the, if the jobs aren't coming in, uh, you, you, you take what's there. And you, but you obviously have had great, great success at attracting great offers because right. you, your body of work is fun. Yeah. You have fun things. The things you do are fun. They seem fun. I don't do anything unless I enjoy it. And that's, um, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I actually stopped doing my radio show. One, and I was losing to you. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and I don't like, I don't like to lose. All right, all right. <laughs> no, but honestly, it became a job. And like I always say, my hat's off to everyone who does morning radio because I didn't understand what goes into it and that it's a full job, full time job. It took, it took us years to figure it out. Yeah, and it's was, not easy. And uh, the people who do this, they're built for, it, they're built a different way. And I stopped having fun and I felt like I was going to work and it started to reflect in my other jobs as well. So, and even in my health, I mean, and I actually had some serious uh, health uh, issues because of the time that I wasn't sleeping in. And it's like, and I really got to that space space, especially like around 2012, I say, if I'm not enjoying it, if it's not making me a better person, I don't want to do it. Well, that's great life yeah. lesson for all of us. Yeah. So we all quit as of today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I quit this bitch. <laughs> there but you no, go. But you what look like you're head. I'm glad I could inspire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you finally beat us. Yes, exactly. You beat us to submission. My master around. plan has worked, <laughs> finally. So, I mean, okay, okay, let's go. Uh, let me just give you a, a, just a little bitty microscopic dot of uh, the list of Nick Cannon stuff, current. Yes. The Halo Awards on Nickelodeon. Yes. Which is uh, coming on Sunday, Sunday November 27th. Sunday, November 27th, all but about only, helping and leading others. Not only is it a fun award show, yeah. but it is about empowering... Young people. Young people to watch other young people yeah. for... So, and Yeah, 2008, I became the youngest television chairman in, chairman, or in television history uh, for Nickelodeon. I wanted to create something that was different from our Kids' Choice Awards and the MTV Awards. So I focused specifically on the young millennials that were actually making the world a better place. And that's how we created the Helping and Leading Other Awards, the Halo Awards. And right. uh, we're almost like, you know, this is like our ninth year doing it and everybody's been a part of it from Justin Timberlake to Lady Gaga to the First Lady so it's been outstanding. And it's awesome because so many people hear kids and they think oh, stupid kids. They're just stupid. <laughs> right. And honestly I they're not. That. They're not. <laughs> kids are making the world a better yep. place. We gotta rely on well, them. Well, kids yeah. are gonna be cleaning up our drool. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> Wiping my ass <laughs> later on. Really? Okay. Do kids clean up your drool <laughs> and, and wipe her ass. ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And when they're not wiping their ass, they're wiping, they come up and wipe everyone's ass. They'll be here in a minute if you nice. need them. I've been but, waiting. Okay, add, okay, add to the Halo Awards, wiping. which you were such, a, you are the foundation behind that, along yes. with some great other people. Uh, America's Got Talent. That's That looks like it's a lot of fun. Yes. Auditions uh, currently come out, please. We need more superstars and spoon players. We're going to Atlantis at the end of the month, and there's a bunch of people going to be performing from America's yeah. Got Talent in Atlantis, and we got tickets. We're so excited. There to it see is. It. See? Yeah. They, you create careers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We both work for Nabisco. We do. 
I love the business. And I, so you know what? Because I'm a huge Oreo head. Like I, all kinds of Oreos. Me too. They did came you, up with the birthday cake Oreos. And did you hear oh. about the new candy bar? Yes. Oh, so <laughs> good. <laughs> they I got, got an idea. cinnamon bun Oreos. Daniel, <laughs> come here. Like, come here. We, come here. Stand right here. <laughs> I'm going to sit on Nick's left. You'll be on the right. We're reverse We're Oreo. Reverse Oreo. Oreo. <laughs> come on, Nabisco. <laughs> get it Let's popping. Get a you can and Oreo. They have friggin' orange, uh, orange Oreos for Halloween. <laughs> that that but, can happen. Yeah, that's a big company. Nah, Nabisco's a big yeah, company. They've 115 been doing years, 115 years, and you know they bring joy to everybody. Yeah. So it works out. Everybody knows I love sweets. So that's how we get down. So let's let's uh, let's talk about something that's going to empower everyone listening. Yes. Uh oh. You seem to be extremely. Happy. <laughs> you, you do, do you sense that? I oh, sense happiness. Happiness. But you're, you're happy it's the place. turban. You, you seem to be in your <laughs> happy, turban. your happy turban. <laughs> but you're also so successful, and you you really are helping a lot of people yeah. along with doing some fun things. Yeah. What is the secret? Is there a secret? Like what is like what's your logo? What's your slogan? What what gets you going? To incredible. Make you, talk about it. Uh, wake up and just make the most out of your day. I mean, I've been through so much in my life that every day that I do get the opportunity to spread joy from myself to, to others, that's what it's all about. So being a father, being someone who can give others opportunities. I mean, I feel like I've done everything I've ever wanted to do in my life. Right. And I feel like, you know, you're blessed to be a blessing. Too much is given, much is required. So now it's all about just spreading joy. You want to live forever? <laughs> Fame, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you know you really? I'm actually, I've actually gotten to that point because I have had like serious health issues and those moments where you're like in a hospital staring at the wall. Did like, you feel yeah. like you were gonna die? Soon? 100%, I mean, I mean, you, 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 you had there, some kid, got, some kidney problems, I had right? Kidney failure. Now, yeah. did you actually think you were a goner? You were done. I, you come that what they call it, the come to Jesus moment. Yeah, talk, <laughs> like, talk about like, that. Like, Hey, I've had a good life. If I've, I'm, I'm fine if this happens to be that way. But then, obviously, then the next thought is like, yo, I can overcome this. I can make it past this because I feel like I have so much more to do. And now that I can be an example and turn this test into a testimony. What I'm getting to is this: people who uh, get cancer, right, and think they're they're done, right, but they live. Yeah. People who have awful accidents. I was talking to Jason Derulo about that that awful yeah, rehearsal man. accident he had. He th he was gonna die. Yeah. But he lived, and it changed their lives. Hundred percent. See, I don't want to hang myself or get cancer in order to understand how to live that way. Right. So we turn to people who've been close or had that come to Jesus me yeah, moment yeah. to tell us how to do it. Like, what are we? That's what great. are we screwing? The people who are not. I think at because, death's doorstep. What are we doing? What because we obviously, any type of near death experience or, or where you can actually step back and reflect on your entire life puts everything in the proper perspective for you. For me, it was like this. I started having serious health uh, concerns when my kids were just infants. Mm -hmm. And it just, that in itself, just like to see, you know, babies being helpless and I'm helpless. And it was like, wow, this is something that if I do get another opportunity, I'm never going to take it for granted. And to be able to wake up each day and make the most out of a day, regardless of what's going on in politics, regardless of what's going on at your job and all that, just to be like, man, I'm breathing right now. There's a, and that's it. And I actually do a lot of work uh, with children's hospitals all across the country. St. Mary's. Yeah, the, I was yes. at St. Mary's with you. Yeah. And you, the kids like know you by name because you're there, there like, all the time. You know them by name. Yeah, so I go there. Doing it, for, it puts it in, like, yeah. it, it's like, Yo, this is what life is about. Those kids can smile. We all. Yeah. You're doing smile. it for the kids and the kids' parents and the doctors, but you're you're getting you're getting you get so much out of it because it nourishment lets, out of that. Yeah, it lets you know, like, okay, this kid is hooked up to a machine 20 hours yeah. a day, so when they smile, they mean it. Mm. You know what I mean? There's like, a little girl that was there. She was a burn victim, yeah. and she was most of her body was burned. She was running around, sitting on people's laps, she hugging you, best. kissing you. She had no idea. She was just she had a little life. backpack on. And, right, and she yeah. was so happy. And, and it, that's how people need to Isn't be. It's funny how many of life's lessons we can learn just by looking at others. For example, we, we get so, so, we get blinders on and forget that there are people out there who live in, they're living great lives, even with odds against them, yeah. and they're succeeding. Uh, being a father. Yes. Love being a father. Is oh, it true you have another child on the way? What well, is You know what's true? I read that this I yesterday. Have a mixtape on the way that came out. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, okay. No, listen, listen. No, I didn't know what about, to talk about. No, no, no. You can't, we can talk about anything. Okay, baby, man, on the way. friends. Yes. Oh. And you know what? I personally, personally felt like to be able to talk about things on a personal level, I got to give all of me. And sometimes you can't do that in an interview. So I made we a We have song. a baby on the way. Sounds like you gave some of you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how it works, Elvis. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Hold on. Now, we'll talk about this. You, can I'll you teach you me birds and bees? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I've been trying to get pregnant for years. It, it, it can't happen. <laughs> it, maybe it's it'll too, backfire. It's too, Hold on. I, okay, <laughs> now this is from this mixtape. I heard about this last night. Yes. Baby oh. on the Way featuring K. Michelle. Hey. We got a baby on the way. Hey. Yeah. We got a baby on the way. Hey. Yeah. We got a baby on the way. <laughs> we got a baby on the way. How excited so are I you? just put the, it's, and it is a line. Bump what the haters got to say. It's time to celebrate. You got a baby on the way. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but see, this is another situation where I may not have a baby on the way, but I need something to celebrate. There, is, <laughs> there are things. I'm going to celebrate your baby. Thank you. Does that sound creepy? Are you going to give me something? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> throw me a shower. I got to throw you a baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, did, did you actually miss your 8 a.m. class to be here today? You're in college again. Is yes, I am in class. See my Nicholas college. Cannon is his. You can, you can say bunny on a new um, a new Mac. Yeah. Right yeah, by the way. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier. People at 49 years old still using their college IDs uh, to I'm close. save money. <laughs> you know what? Tuesdays and Thursdays are my college classes. But what Four are you run. studying? I am studying strategic and legal communication. Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Learning. Because I felt like, obviously, we're all in communications. We know how this works. And uh, attorneys are trying to rip us yeah, off all the yeah. time. Exactly. Hello. Exactly. That's Hello, exactly lady. why I did it. So that I know a little bit about, you know, the, the field of communications, but to see the legal aspect of it and everything, how it's constantly changing with new media, I jumped in and was like, yo, let me make this my major. I love that you spent time to come see us today. Come on, man. Because, I mean, we could sit here and, you know, people come I in. I consider they, you like a real friend and colleague in this business. I, I mean, like, obviously, like, it's interesting because people that sometimes you, you're kind of, I was put up against you, like, all in the morning. But then I had to learn about you, and I respected you, and, like, I was like, yo, this dude is, if not the best, one of the best in his field. And I gained so much respect, and then when I actually got the opportunity, we had dinner and all those type of things, it's like, man, he's just, like, a really nice guy, so. We made love with each other. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, that, that was that, that's on the mixtape, too. That's on the mixtape. <laughs> we got a baby on the way. <laughs> Me and Elvis. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I want you simply to, uh, you, is there a NickCannon.com? There is now, a NickCannon.com. If Cannon. I want to know anything and everything, headlines of Nick Cannon, I can always go to NickCannon.com. But let's not forget uh, the Halo Awards. Yes. Very important you support because he's doing some great things over there. What a gift. Sunday, yeah. November 27th at Nick. On Nickelodeon, baby. Absolutely. And congratulations on your uh, Critics' Choice Award nomination. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Critics. <laughs> Thank the choice. It's yeah, between you and RuPaul. Hey. I always lose the RuPaul. No. <laughs> Better dresser. He's taller. He taller. Can, and he can talk very well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let, go ahead and let him win that one. Hey, go for it. Ru, and, ru, ru. And you're just a total sweetheart. Thank you, Nick, Thank for you. coming. Nick Cannon. Right. Yeah.